Hey, you? good afternoon, Owen. Ah, this is Bud. And we're back at your place. This is uh, like uh, June uh, 15th, 2013. And we're going to take a look, see how your gourds are growing this year. What are these again? These are penguin gourds, right? It's supposed to be true to type penguin, but yeah. they weren't true to type. Weren't true to type. Uh -uh. But I'll tell you, awesome. There's three of them right above your head. Nonetheless. And one over here that's going to have the curved neck to it. Let's see what we got. Yeah, Holy cow. That's what oh, makes yeah. it a penguin shape. Very cool. And those three are curved neck too. Very cool. All right, let's kind of, ooh, this is very cool. <laughs> let's walk through the gourd land here. Look how big that thing is, man. Put my hand up to it. That's how big it is. Very cool. Yeah, it looks like the top's dying out a little bit, huh? Yeah, their season's about over. They're starting to die off and dry up. Wow. That one is probably the closest penguin shape of all of them. Yeah, I want to get a kumquat. Which, which variety is this again? Uh, Nagami kumquat. Nagami. Looks like the yeah. football, right? Yeah. A little longer Good one tasting. I'm going to go back around harder, here. I think, than the other ones. Wow. Unreal. Very cool. Always cool. And these are dying back, and a lot of them are shriveling up. Oh, yeah. Isn't that interesting? I don't know why. I like this one. Yeah. And here's the same thing up here that with uh, kind of a bent neck to it, but yeah. it's shriveling up, huh? Shriveling up, too. I don't know what's happening here. Very cool. And these are penguin gorse, too? It's supposed to be. Wow. They be look, true to look, type, but they're look all totally different, don't they? Yeah. But that one there and one over here is almost perfect teardrop shape. Yeah. Big. You know, that's 18 inches long. Look at that. All right. And then we got uh, sweet, sweet, sweet bananas. Banana peppers. Hey, you put those over here this year, huh? Yeah. Just lined across oh, those here. are I lined up. I a across here, but I took them Holy cow. You got enough of that. Yeah. I'm take a bunch of them with you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And here we got loofahs, baby. Loofah City. Oh, my God. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Just unbelievable. Again, all of them that are figure a foot longer or longer is uh, 63 of them. 63 foot longer. Foot or longer. Okay, I'm going to get a shot from the other side there. Go through here. Wow. Again. Pretty good size one. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. A lot of, a lot of loofahs, man. Yeah, wind down to them. Now I got a bell pepper behind each pole. Going. Where you got that? What is that right there? What? On the ground there. That's the kohlrabis. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, my wife liked that, by the way. Oh, all right. Yeah. They're easy to grow. Yeah. Bugs eat the leaves, but they don't mess with the fruit. Look. Some tomatoes. Yeah, this is sweet 100 cherry tomato. Look at all these, man. Look how big that is. That's what we want. Alright, I'm going to continue here. Okay, this is the largest one. It's 24 inches. 24 inches. Look how big that thing is. Unbelievable. Oh, that's the shot. That's the money shot right there. Yeah. Hang on, let me let me do a walk through then this way. Okay, I've talked to a lot of people, and being their loop of sponges, they think they grow in the ocean. You know, they go to the store and they buy a small one. You know. Yep. And uh, but they don't know they're gourds. And when they're a little bit bigger. You know, you can compare them. That's about that size, I guess. Yep. You know, cut off. All I had was pieces. I didn't have a whole one. I was going to show you this down here. Yeah, I'll catch you on the other side. I'll catch you down here. Look at that. Holy cow. Yeah. 
Kind of oh, like yeah. this one here, it's got a curve to it. You know, when they when they're little, if they got a curve to them, they'll grow big with a curve, and then they grow like this. You know. Yeah. And uh, they're not much of a use. So early in the growing season, I call most of the curved ones out, and so they yeah. left the straighter ones. They're a lot more useful. Oh, let me get back on Now, a lot of people say, are these edible? Well, when they're little, yeah. when they're just sprouting out, they're when like they're, cucumbers, right? Right. When they're, you, about, uh, you treat them like you would a zucchini. Yeah. You know, when they get six, eight inches long, cook them, eat them, cook them the same way. Look how big that is, man. And also in the Philippines, they, uh, the tips yeah. of the uh, shoots coming out, they're tender. And they pluck them off, and somehow they fry them or stir fry them or something. Wow. And also the flowers, they'll eat yeah. the flowers. Well, I wish I saw the sunflowers when they were bloom. Look how big that yeah. thing is. I know. What gets me yeah, is sunflower, how big that stalk is. They're hollow. Hard, and how they stand up like that and don't fall over, it's amazing. It's nature's skyscraper. That is awesome, man. So big, I gotta zoom out. Oh, these are bell peppers, huh? Oh, it's Full there. of them? Full of them. Hold down to the whole thing. Yeah, look at them all. Wow. Yeah, look at those, man. I'll probably yeah. be bringing a bunch of them out to field in the morning. <laughs> nice. More than I can do with Nice. These are what, cherry tomatoes? The first two are cherry tomatoes. The second two over there are those yellow. It's like a teardrop shape, small yellow tomatoes. Oh, yeah. They're just loaded with soft up in here. It's huge, man. It's uh, about eight foot tall. Yeah, they're growing up. I put the wire across there. They'll grow up and just drop over now once they get too top heavy. Wow. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's or are you going to do all this splicing? Yeah, I'll splice that. All right, this is a this is a gourd. Small cannonball. Small cannonball that Owen did. And I made a triangle shape with three quarter inch plywood mold. Then I put these inside on the mold. Got these down in Michaels or something. I don't know what they do with them. I had them inside the mold, and the gourd grew into it, and it made that's, the impression. That's on that. cool. So that's a gourd. Oh, it's very There's cool. A frog there, and a horse, and a turtle. turtle. And then you just made this little stand to put it there. Yeah. Very cool. It shows the mold and that was inside if you just fold them up. Very cool. Okay, now this what is a penguin gourd that Owen grew and his sister one made this made it, first thing, one of the yeah, first ones she did. Broke it a few times here. And this was back in 2006. 2006. Alright, Owen's sister makes very cool things out of gourds. Different types of gourds. Name different things, you know, yeah. bushel gourds, rank of monkeys, snakes. And then they can be, a lot of people up you know, where they got purple martins up in Georgia, Alabama, and all up through there, they put up gourd bird houses. And they can, different size holes for different birds. Yeah, one inch for, yeah, for the different size, different size holes for the different birds. Very cool. Notice the top of it swerves up here a little bit. Yeah. And then my sister, I gave four of them, my sister kept that one. And this is what she did with one of them, the smaller one. You can see the leaves she did here to curve up on that neck part. And then oh, she wow. just did 
you know, put like a grapevine yeah. around there with Perfect. coming out of the crack and everything. Well, let me see the top of it. There you go. See, see wow. that down in there? There's two bug holes went through here yep. and one over here. Gores try to heal himself. See that little look yeah. like smokestacks or something yeah. in there. Very yeah. cool. Here's very cool. Now this is my sister's studio. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know where you That's want fine. it with yeah, your shadow. Anywhere, anywhere. Okay. That's a bunch of gourd she's done. And then this one is this half. Don't, don't move it. You know. There you go. And here's some more. You say don't move them. I got a bunch you, of them. You're moving but them you're in. getting the shadow one. No, that's okay. No, I got, I got, I got. Yeah. Look at all that stuff that she's done. Cool. Yeah, hey, just let them know. I'll get it. Oh, look at that. This is a long handle dipper gourd, about three foot long, and a, the top off of a, say, a penguin for the pipe part of it. Oh, very cool. Got a piece pipe on there. And this one, this was a large bushel gourd. She cut it out, put a bunch of cat faces all around it. And this was a warty gourd. She put a deer antelope and a little thing on there. And then there's one she did here, kind of from that. The Indian guy standing here, you know, holding that skull thing up. Here's a bunch of what she's done. That one there, that's that one. What kind of gourd is that one here? That was a penguin, but she cuts the neck off and curves it down mm. like this to cut in it and just puts embellishment on it and stuff like that. Very cool. And then this is one she did on the space shuttle. Okay. Yep, set it up. There's there, and this is the back side of that gourd. And got first prize there, here. And then this, I did research on it and gave you this information all the space shuttles and where they're at retired New York City the Enterprise the Enterprise is the only shuttle that didn't go into space it was dropped from the plane they did test it with it and all these other ones two of them destroyed very cool she got first prize on that huh yeah very cool this that's is cut one. open right it's on the inside huh that's cut open right no that's, that's painted on the outside. She yeah, painted right. like a mangrove swamp, dark silhouette, and yeah. it went in with the blue like you're standing in the swamp. Very you know, cool. Watching the shuttle take off. Cool. And then the, my globe in there. Yeah, I remember that. All right. There, there's the globe one. Way back when it was only about eight inches diameter, and I put two twist ties around it, and it just broke those twist ties. Wow. You know? And then it grew bigger and had that groove around it. Yep. Equator. Now, here's another one I did. I grew this one, another bush of gourd, and I put a seat belt and tied it around it. Hmm. Well, somehow it started rotting on the bottom, so I just scooped all the inside out, and then it shriveled up like that. You can see where the belt was. Well, mm -hmm. I took it up my sister. I was going to throw the damn thing away. And um, she said, no, no, no. And that's what she did with it. Oh, really? Cool. And, no, I don't want this one on there, but that's... Uh, yeah, put that on there. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Uh, um, oh yeah, put that down on there. Here's one I did. It's an Indonesian bottle gourd with a long handle dipper gourd. I twisted around it here. Yeah, it looks like a snake, doesn't it? This is a picture of this one here. I got first place there and best yeah, of division. Put it down. Yeah. So you got you got first place on that, huh? Yeah, and best of division of you know hand stuff. Oh, very cool. Huh? And now this is the carousel. The carousel Beverly did. Your sister made this out of a gourd. What three, kind of board? That's gourd? three gourds. That's three gourds? Yeah. It, the big one's a big bushel gourd, and then it's the inside one here where these other horses are is a small gourd, and the center one um, was a... Uh, All cut out. Yeah, like a carousel. And then she cut everything out, and uh, the whole thing sits on the thing and rotates, goes around. Wow. And this is American Gourd Society magazine, and basically that's where she started painting the, gourd, the horses on. And this was the horses on before she started cutting the gourd away. Over here. And then here's the three main parts here. And the symbols them and that's kind of finished there. Very cool. Very, very cool. Alright, Cohen. Thanks a lot. Alright. Gourd City, baby. Hey. We're out. People want to know what. <laughs> People want to know, man. Yeah, that's what they do with them.